All right, guys. Hey, how you doing? Welcome back to my Tesla. Wanted to shoot a quick video here and just update everybody on where I'm at in my process and actually get some feedback from you guys, especially those who have ordered a certified pre-owned. So I have my Tesla uh, ordered. It's in Denver, Colorado. It's been on order now for about a week, a week and a half. Um, just traded in um, my trade-in vehicle. So my wife and I are now down to one vehicle. And um, when we initially had talked to my uh, certified rep, he said it could take up to five weeks to get a certified pre-owned, uh, just depending on how much work needed to be done on the car. And as I found out, um, the car that I have selected um, initially um, had, they had told me that uh, there was no Carfax on it. So they said no wrecks that were reported, but um, did tell me in the process now that the car has had to go to the body shop. Um, well, let me back up. He did say that two parts had to be ordered um, because parts can only be ordered through Tesla. They can actually get the VIN numbers or part number or something like that. So each part has a specific zin, VIN from what I gather from him and a bumper and a rear quarter panel had to be ordered for that car. So I can only assume that somebody ran into it um, because they implied to me that maybe the driver backed into something and I can't imagine any Tesla owner with all of the sensors and cameras that you have on this car could possibly back into anything. It's possible, but I'm not sure I fully believe that. So anyway, um, so they've got to get that, um, they've got to get the parts ordered. They've also got to get it to the body shop and they have to get it painted. Now they just said that there were some dings and scratches on the car that needed to be fixed. And if that's the case, that's great. Would love to buy a certified pre-owned that actually looks brand new well in this week i also got a call letting me know that they were looking at the drivetrain and uh had mentioned that they had some issues with on the 2013 the drivetrains and i'm wondering has anybody purchased a certified pre-owned out there and had an issue with their drivetrain or maybe just purchased their tesla and had an issue with the drivetrain so is this a common, is this really a common issue? Should I be concerned? But at the end of the day, I guess I'm, I'm not that concerned because they're putting a brand new one in, which if nothing else is just gonna add more time to my wait. So, um, so it looks like I'm another two weeks out before I'll be driving a Tesla and my wife will be stuck at home while I'm going to work every day. So we have a, a three month old at home so I'm sure she's excited about that but anyway looking for your feedback just from anybody that's purchased a certified pre-owned before if you have any any experience you can share uh, what was your experience like how long did it take any issues that you ran into when getting a car sight unseen this is the first time I've ever bought a car sight unseen and still been so excited about it so uh, looking for your feedback hey and by the way if you like my videos, go ahead and like them down below. And um, and if you could, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll keep sharing videos on my journey along the way. And um, until next time, guys.